Next at noon, a look back at the history of Cafe Tachi and why the owner says the show must go on. Welcome back. It started out as a restaurant with live performances way back in 1995. About a decade later, it transformed into a traveling opera group. Now Cafe Tachi is celebrating its belated 25th anniversary after weathering the storm of COVID-19. And Briella Tomasetti was there. front seat at the Met to enjoy some of New York City's finest opera. We started in uh, the 25th of July 1995. I had my first opera night. You can experience it all, the live music, costumes and scenery at Cafe Tachi, which celebrates its 26th anniversary this summer. Opera enthusiast and owner Leopoldo Mucci says what started out as a vision quickly blossomed into a reality. In all our cities, Modena, Bologna, there are beautiful opera theaters. Mucci, who his patrons dubbed the godfather of opera, eats, sleeps, and breathes the arts. The Northern Italy native began his small business venture after coming here on a student visa. <laughs> He began hosting weekly opera nights at his small restaurant on 110th Street and Broadway, recruiting talented young musicians from Manhattan's music conservatories. So many of these singers, and now they're singing at the Metropolitan Opera, they're singing in Germany, they're singing in Italy, they're singing. They were kids. After 10 years and hundreds of opera nights uptown, Mucci lost his lease and had to think up a way to keep Cafe Tachi alive. And so he started hosting performances at restaurants across the city and has been going strong since then without an intermission, even during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> Mucci made sure his musicians survived the shutdown by hosting virtual opera nights. He developed a Zoom call, and all of us were on the call, and we would just kind of encourage each other and lift each other up. And, uh, uh, I was just bursting to sing. Loyal patrons like Ellen Resnick tuned in and raised money for the out-of-work performers. Little did I know that night that this group of people, characters, would become my family, my extended family. That is, until they could finally get back before a live audience. The feeling of love uh, and the, the crashing of applause, it was almost startling after not having heard it for so long. Getting through the worst of times together. Non ci sarà mai un mondo, non ci sarà mai un mondo senza un Perché come si dicono in italiano, or as they say in Italian, there will never be a world without opera. <laughs> Reporting from the Upper West Side, Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News. Love to see it. And ending that story with a literal high note as well. Beautiful. All right, Mike's coming back right after this with our full forecast.